I'm excited for this one. This is a kickboxer of the highest order. He has so many different kicks and punches in his arsenal and figures to try to keep this on the feet here tonight. The beautiful thing that he does is he throws that front push kick to create distance when a guy starts to get too close and wants to wrestle with him. He throws it, and the moment you're back at his range, he starts to blast high kick. He doesn't always intend on landing it, but he beats up your arm with high kick after high kick after high kick. And as you get desperate, he starts to run into knees, and he does not need much space to land a knockout punch. This guy is one of the best strikers we've ever seen in the UFC. And if you don't find the striking range early against this guy, you could be in real trouble. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique, because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling is takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Our tale of the tape for this welterweight fight. Four years, the difference in age between these two fighters with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge, Herb Dean. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the T-Mobile Arena in Las Vegas, it's time! Five rounds in the UFC welterweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a kickboxer, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands 62 inches tall, weighing in at 165 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada, Assassin! And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner! This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, USA, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. They touch him up, and we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight. All right, so here we go with the start of round one. I can tell how excited you are for this matchup. Seems to be a striking advantage on one side, but maybe not. This is a big time fight. It feels like a big moment for both of these guys' careers. Who is gonna be able to implement their game plan the best in this matchup between these two big time athletes? Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by this jump. Well, you saw the tail of the tape. He has a reach advantage and made good use of it there with that punch. Nice. Throws a big right hand, but doesn't find its home. Look at how he turns his hip into that leg kick. Nice one, two there. Oh! Big shots exchanged in the pocket there. Oh, he blocks the strike. Oh, and counters with a jab. So a nice sequence for him there. He's got the reach advantage, and at least in that exchange, size certainly appeared to matter. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? All right, he engages in the single collar tie. Big and kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact 
right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, straight right. Trying to establish that jab once again. Power oh. the leg kick land. Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out. <laughs> 90 seconds now to go in round one. Beautiful body land right under the elbow. Loaded up there on that high kick. He's throwing every part of himself into these big leg kicks. Oh man, another nice leg kick is there. Looked like he might have landed there. Instead, a swing and a miss by Lee. Both fighters throwing heat now. And he landed the right hand there. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Round two winding down. Well, we now take a look back at some of the highlights from that last round, DC. A lot for the replay guys to choose from. I mean, these guys are going to be very busy trying to find what replay to show you guys. Lands on both sides of the octagon. Both guys fought great. What a phenomenal round. All right, next round is underway, and how about the head movement and the slips? Really a beautiful defensive effort to watch in that previous round. It looks as if he was training in his boxing rig with the two ropes spread across. There's, there's a jump rope on one end going to the other end of the boxing ring and another one making the X in the middle, and you're just working on your head movement. His ability to see everything reminds me of a guy that's learning to do that drill. Great punch. How about that shin? Nice, sneaky head kick. Look at the whip action that comes from him throwing that kick. Oh, tags him with the left. That is an educated left hand. Educated left hand. He's throwing it so fast and so crisp. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. striking realm in MMA, and he's as good as he gets. The problem is his opponent is not controlling his posture. He's allowing his opponent to get up, and when he does, he creates this space to land these beautiful ground and pound combinations. Oh, nice job to land the straight punch there. Must be nice to have that kind of reach advantage, DC. I know you can't necessarily relate. It's okay. Keep going. Keep going. Man, as he landed a high volume of strikes here in round two, definitely picking up the pace after round one. So he got the message from the corner, and now he is taking control oh. of this second round. Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. Oh! Nice jab by him there, and I guess on the other side, hard to get your offense going when your head keeps getting snapped back like a Pez dispenser. Every time he tries to go forward and use his own offense, the jab is stopping him in his tracks. He's doing a great job of fighting behind him. He's got to be careful dipping his head when he's throwing that jab. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Oh, he might be out. Much improved defensively as he blocks the shot. I mean, look at the commitment to kicking in this fight. Oh! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go chase that finish down now. Oh, he might be out.
Just an absolutely gorgeous shot to spell the end for his opponent. Crowd is absolutely loving it. He gets the near-perfect land. I'm not even sure his opponent saw it coming, but just the way he drew it up here tonight, saw that little crack of an opening and barged right through it to get the knockout. All right, we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're gonna find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight, but don't ignore all the work he did with his hands and give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop for this contest at four minutes, 40 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout assassin. Well, there will be no shutting that smile off tonight. The celebration is on as he gets a huge win by knockout tonight. I got to think there are a few better feelings in the world than walking into an octagon and candidly knocking another man out of Yeah, you shut a person's lights off, man. There's nothing like it. Now, I understand a lot of times we hope for the knockout, but he was never hopeful. He was sure that...